we want to go out to Volusia County, where seven structures that we know of in Wilbur-by-the-Sea have collapsed into the ocean. Just in Wilbur-by-the-Sea. Mm -hmm. That is such a small portion of that community. The rough surf storm surge just pounding the coastline. New Six's Molly Reed joins us now live. Uh, she has been out there uh, yesterday, Molly. I know we were talking about the potential for this happening. We were hoping for the best. Obviously, uh, there was nothing that these homes could really do with how much they sustained from Ian and, of course, all of the wind and powerful waves hitting uh, from this storm. Absolutely, Justin. I mean, yeah, we were talking about these houses yesterday. We were inside some of these houses, and now the backs of them are just gone. Half of the houses are gone. Actually, where we're standing right now is on a balcony, and if you can imagine, out of those seven structures, we're on like a little peninsula right now. The, there's three houses that way and several this way that are ab that have just demolished now. Out of the backs of this gray house, we were inside yesterday, standing on the floor that is not even there anymore crashed into the ocean but as you were saying this relentless the waves it has been happening all day if we go if you zoom in down there that pool i want to show you the bottom poles down there the bot just the first two poles were showing at 8 a.m this morning that shows you how much has already been eaten away in the last three hours and we still have two houses standing out there that white one I mean, if it still goes, you can see a bunch of furniture has already fallen in. So the back of that one now fallen in. Several houses here, all gone. And then the first two up there, gone as well. We've been talking about these mandatory evacuations. This is why they want them evacuated. We're also hearing now up in Daytona Beach Shores, just a few miles north of here, Several more condo buildings are being evacuated, bringing the total to 15 because those are at high risk now of collapsing. So while the storm has really started moving, moved through the area, the problems here in Volusia have really started within the last couple hours as we are seeing more and more properties going down. So, you know, this is why the sheriff's office, they are going out. The deputies are trying to get people out of these buildings before it's too late. Thankfully, with these people, they were able to evacuate yesterday. Some of them, like the owner of this gray house, the property manager was telling me was still here up until early yesterday afternoon. They got him out saying, we know it's your house. We know you love it, but it's up. It's really coming down to your safety. Obviously, you can see that. We were also talking to another homeowner, a few houses down. Really, all that's left of his house is the front facade. You just see that main wall, a couple feet left, and that is it. And he said he was there yesterday, too, up until early afternoon. But again, these are getting worse and worse as the day goes on. Again, at 8 a.m., there was still a good amount of land behind, beneath, rather, some of these buildings. And it is just coming in. So that is why, again, they are trying to get people off the area. They do not want anyone around the area right now. Because as you can see, as the wind's still going, there's also parts going flying from these houses. So it's just not a good idea right now to be driving around, especially checking things out. They really are trying to get everyone um, out of especially Wilbur and Daytona Beach Shores. Back to you guys. Absolutely heartbreaking to see those images. Such a beautiful beach and a beach, beautiful stretch of beach as it yeah. gets into Ponce Inlet from there. But um, yeah, I, it's it's unfortunate, um, and we we wish those folks who who do live along the the beach and love their homes on the beach, we wish them the best.